Hi everybody, I'm Mike from Marcan Trailer. Today I'm going to show you the new LaCrosse 3380. Uh, it's a bunkhouse floor plan, new for 2021. Um, they've made a bunch of changes this year and we'll dive in on those. But uh, LaCrosse, that's the uh, luxury line from Primetime Manufacturing, which is of course a, a division of Forest River. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and get started right here on the outside. So you'll notice in the front, nice sleek look. New graphics um, this year for LaCrosse. Got the nice um, painted front cap. That kind of transitions into your nice big pass-through storage. So you'll have no problem, you know, fitting a folding um, chairs and tables and things like that. You got the automatic sensor light, and then these are of course slam latch doors. Um, new for lacrosse this year is not only are they backup camera prepped, like a lot of the, the competition are, but they are side camera prepped as well. So this is just kind of an extra piece that you can buy, and you can see it's, you know, prepped here on the running lights. When you kick on your signal lights, um, you'll have a view of your shoulders as well. Really nice for, you know, turning and, and changing lanes and all that kind of stuff, especially with a nice big trailer like this. Um, on the outside, a couple little features. So you'll notice the uh, TV mounting bracket if you decided. This is a pet leash ring, so you can tie up your pets. And then you got the friction hinge door, and you can see we're underneath two nice big power awnings. Okay, so you got the smaller one in the front and then kind of the, the bigger one at the middle of the unit. Tire pressure monitor, that's new for the lacrosse this year as well. Uh, they were starting to kind of come out with that last year in their fifth wheels, but now it's in the travel trailer. So you do get a little fob with the unit. Um, that'll tell you your temperature and your pressure uh, of your four tires on the lacrosse. So pretty cool feature, nice safety touch. Um, and then of course the easy tow axles that lacrosse has been doing for a few years. So you got the extra wide stance in the axle. Really nice, especially for a big unit like this. One of those tires hits a pothole, the other one will kind of help pull it out. Um, you won't feel it as much in the truck. Okay. Then you got, of course, your outside kitchen. Lacrosse, um, you know, they, they do it best. So uh, nice big outside kitchen. You got the big fridge. Everybody loves that. You got the built-in sink. And then, of course, the pull-out um, stove top. Okay. And then you got an outlet here, a couple cabinets. You can set up a nice bar, whether it's a breakfast bar or alcohol, whatever you're into. Um, you got a nice drawer here for your utensils. And then round back, you can see it's got that backup camera prep. And uh, these walls are all fully laminated as well. So a lot of the competition in the back wall will do a hung wall. Um, so just kind of a testament to the uh, Eternabond construction that Primetime uses, which is uh, all, basically all the, the major joints in this unit, the aluminum framing has a, a piece of wood in there as well to kind of help catch where they screw it together. And, and then of course the, the rest of the frame is welded. So. All right, I'm gonna show you the Universal Docking Center on the back of the Primetime Lacrosse. Uh, they also do this on the Tracer line as well. Um, really handy feature. This is a fifth wheel feature in a travel trailer. So you can see I'm just on the back side of the trailer in my pass-through storage on my nice magnetic uh, latch there. Um, so Universal Docking Center. So all your outside components all in one spot, okay? So you have your outside shower, you have your city water connection and your fresh water connection all right there as well as your battery disconnect, okay? Um, black tank flush for flushing out your sewer and then of course just a light solar prep if you're gonna have a portable solar panel and then of course cable and satellite hookups so um, if you do have city water connection at your lot um, you just feed your fresh water hose up through the bottom screw it in and then you can close your slam latch and all your stuff stays nice and clean nobody can tamper with it um, everything's all in one spot super slick all right welcome inside so really nice new interior for lacrosse this year. Again, they kind of lightened everything up. Um, still with some nice dark contrast though, which I really like. Um, the countertop, you know, you got the nice kind of dark marbly kind of look. Huge stainless steel sink with these cool new dryer racks um, that are starting to be more and more common. Um, you got metal fixtures everywhere, kind of the, uh, you know, residential style um, lighting. Lots of cabinet space. You got the um, convection microwave three high output burners, and then just tons of cabinets here. There's lots of storage. You got the uh, 12 volt fridge as well. Okay, so nice big 10 cubic foot fridge. It's even on, nice and chilly right now. And that'll um, run off your battery setup. If you're gonna be doing some dry camping, throw a solar panel on the roof of this guy, and uh, it'll power the fridge indefinitely. They're really, really efficient with two six volt batteries and a solar panel. Um, you'll never have an issue with the fridge uh, killing your batteries. Nice big super slide, you got the U-shaped dinette. 
You got cabinet doors underneath. There is storage at the back as well. Windows on all sides. And then this is a uh, residential sofa bed. So these cushions just come off and there is uh, like a foam mattress in there. What's nice about this is it's right across from your big screen TV. You got like a 55 inch TV here. Um, you got the fireplace, Bluetooth sound bar. So super comfortable. Um, you know, if people are, you know, prepping food in there. Kids can be over here, you know, watching TV on that rainy night or, or what have you, but lots of uh, separate space. Head into the bunk room. So you got another nice fold out sofa there, which can be a double bed. And then you got your big oversized bunk. It's got the ladder built in and of course, closet space. There is a little um, kind of entertainment nook here. If you wanted to put a little TV in here, get the kids out of the way for a bit, put them in back here, and then another fold down bunk above the couch as well. And then if you just kind of toggle around, there is additional closet space. So we all know kids pack a ton of stuff, uh, different clothes for every environment, and of course their toys. So closet there, drawers underneath, lots of space. Take a look at the washroom. Okay, so nice big washroom, kind of an ensuite style with the master bedroom. Maybe you noticed, but as soon as I walked in, the lights automatically turned on, so they're on a little sensor, so kind of nice, especially for nighttime. Um, you got the fan, toilet, lots of space in here. Big radius shower, so I'm six feet tall. I can fit in here, no problem. Lots of space, there is a skylight as well for that extra few inches. And then um, you got a linen closet. There's tons of space sliding door into the master bedroom and then you got your full-size queen bed okay so there is storage underneath the bed and then of course your closets cabinets above reading lights underneath you'll have outlets on either side of the bed and then uh, this unit does have dual air conditioner as well so that is an option that we bring it in just a nice nice to have in a, in a big unit like this um, there are TV hookups if you decided, but otherwise, that does it for the Primetime Lacrosse 3380. I'm Mike from Arcana Trailer. I'll catch you next time.